All right, here we are, folks. Day two of our four-day challenge. We're playing an ACBL instant tournament, which is 12 boards. We might get some ACBL master points, but judging from our place right now in 14th, we have some work to do. I left you with this problem yesterday. One spade by your partner. Three diamonds by your right-hand opponent. What do you do? You bid four diamonds, folks. You happen to know you have a spade fit, and in fact, you have a 10-card spade fit. So... You know you're playing spades. This heart suit is astonishingly amazing awesomeness in spades. When you get to draw trump and this is your side suit, it is the easiest hand ever to play. Ah, okay. Even number of key cards. Okay, so partner has two key cards. Luckily, we have two with the queen. And why the heck do I know we have the queen, folks? Well... We have 10 trumps. When you have 10 trumps, you have the queen, folks. We have five. We know our partner has five for their opening bid. So when we're talking about having the queen or not, we happen to know we have it. And we also know we have two key cards, ace of hearts, ace of spades. Partner is showing an even number of key cards. It would be two for sure. And a void. Unfortunately, that void's in hearts, folks. <laughs> I mean, if it's in another suit, it's a shock. Uh, so you you expect partner to be tabling a heart void, which is fine with us because check this out. We're going to play jack of diamonds. We're going to win that ace. We're going to draw trump, king of spades. Oh, my God. What a disaster, folks. Not only did we, did we get a 3-0 break. It's a 3-0 break we really can't deal with. We have to hope Lefty has at least three hearts. Let's get it there. There we go, folks. There's the ten of hearts. Let's go. Pitch that king of clubs. We can't go down now, folks. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose a spade for sure. But we're gonna cross rough the rest of this hand out. And we get to make it because our heart suit gets to pitch all those clubs. They could have beaten us by a club lead, but they did not get it, and that is excruciating for them. So that's a good recovery uh we are going to go from 14th all the way to what what are we going to climb to seventh that is because we get 85.7 percent on this board um i th this is surprising oh here here these people bought a club lead because they bombed for no trump right away right they didn't qubit first uh no they didn't get a club lead so what happened oh uh, yeah okay they decided to rough diamonds rather than pitch clubs guys the biggest thing you have after the opening lead, the opening lead shows you you have no diamond losers, folks, especially if trumps divide evenly, right? You're going to rough all three of those. Your only job is to get rid of your club losers because the opponents are going to get in with spades. They're going to, and they're going to cash the ace of clubs as soon as they do that. Their partner didn't lead it for them. So you have to get rid of clubs before you ever do anything else in this hand. Very important if you get that right you, in fact, get 85%. If you get it wrong, uh, you don't get 85%. But we climbed out of the basement with that one. We're back in at least respectable territory, and it's gone past a club to us. <laughs> That's a no trump, folks. That's 15, Sal. Let's dance. I love this contract. Let's play one no trump for the rest of time. Uh, Jack of Diamonds lead. I like it. I like it a lot. They're kind of setting us up for possibly taking extra tricks. I'm going to duck a diamond here. Notice I'm pretty confident. I mean, if, honestly, this could be terrible. Did they? They didn't have just three. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I was worried for a second. Sometimes the robot can do something super weird. Maybe they had only three uh, diamonds, but here they did have four. Thank goodness. Right? I, I might have tromboned a trick in that spot. Pitch to spade here. Interesting. Um, I'm still going to play. I'm going to play king of spades, jack of spades. And here, I'm just going to create a trick either way. Um, if the finesse wins, though, it's an extra trick. Um, I'm okay with them playing hearts at this point if they get it right. And sometimes they don't, right? Just see what happened? I'm letting them in. And I, I know so many of you fear just getting rick, ripped with tricks in, in the hearts. Um, but we have to recognize they haven't found out to lead a heart yet. And we haven't really told them to lead a heart either. Um, and we we're just going to gain tricks anyway. Let them run hearts. And we can throw away a club and maybe even a winning spade. But we're going to come back and take those tricks later. But when they get it wrong, I get that club trick. And then I get those 
two spade tricks, right? That extra spade that we created with the 10. And now we'll just lead hearts and plus 120, I would say, should be a pretty reasonable score. Um, and that's what we're going to get. We're not going to get more than plus 120 on this one. And further furthering our uh, ascendance, uh, we're, we're now going to be sixth. Okay, only one spot, but we 89.3 on this board. And that's just, I think that's just good bridge, folks. We're just playing one no trump. And we're getting the right uh, number of tricks when they don't get all of uh, their defense right. Um, those that played hearts, ah, you just overcall the diamond. Yeah, you're 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 much better off bidding a no trump when you have the values right. Notice how much more descriptive one no trump is. When you overcall one heart, your range is eight to seventeen. Now, uh, excuse me, one diamond. Uh, <laughs> when you overcall one diamond, your range is 8 to 17. That's a massive range for a partner to know, you know whether or not to act in. And it also doesn't do a terrific job of preempting the opponents. It still allows that one-level major suit response. One no trump not only describes your hand better, it shows your range much more tightly, 15 to 18, as the overcall it's one level higher on that uh, top end. But it also preempts the opponents, right? They don't have that one level response in a major. So here it's just so much better to bid a no trump. You get a better score and 89.3 uh, was was your result there for that one no trump making two. Um, oh man, another no trump opener, just a nice 16. Systems on over double and two clubs. What do I mean by that? Well, this two club bid as an overcall uh, should just show a single suited hand. We agree, as long as that's not the majors over there, that we keep our systems on entirely. So double would have been stamen, which means two diamonds is still a transfer to hearts. And that's exactly what it is. And we will accept that transfer. Uh, almost tempted to super accept our hand is so good, but we want to have four trumps and a little better hand to do that. So here we'll play a comfy two hearts. There's the king of clubs. That's king from ace king usually for the robots. Uh, here, I can't afford the false card. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to lose a spade if spades are breaking really badly. Uh, they're not great. Uh, all right, so now this this hand's going to come down to just a diamond finesse. All right, so we're going to play heart, heart, and we have to make sure to win this in dummy, folks. If we can't, we're never getting there before we can take a diamond finesse. So here it is, diamond of the queen. Oh well, it loses. We take the rest. I'm making three. So we would have been safe at the three level uh, for if we super accepted. Weird. We're getting 42.9% on this one. Uh, that means there's like an outlier or two. Uh, and yeah, here it is. Uh, so three spades. Weird. Uh, diamond, two clubs, double. How do you not open a no trump with this hand? That's just bizarre. And somebody made four. Let's see what happened. King of clubs, ace of clubs. What happened? Was the auction different? No. So king of clubs, eight. Oh, they played the eight from dummy. <laughs> That's the difference. They played the eight from dummy, which forced another club, and then they switched to a diamond? <gasps> no, they gave him a slough and a rough. Wow. Crazy. Amazing. Look at that. Everyone else. <laughs> I mean, it's normal just to play the four, but the eight of clubs just panicked the robot into something super weird. Um, we'll remember that. Interesting. Uh, next hand, 14 points. 